and we are live. Ooh, Welcome we are live. to Stitching the Miles Together. We, we are two Yarny BFFs that are coming to you from 4,000 mm-hmm. miles apart, and we are stitching our life together live with yarn. With, with yarn. Yes, mm-hmm. yarn. Yarn. Right. Take the darn thing. I don't care. And uh, Nicole's arguing with dogs. So <clears throat> I am. Um, Oops, yeah. I gotta, and I got to pull up show notes because I don't need to see that. Okay. What'd you do? Well, I have. I'm, did I leave? I'm like, I'm right here. No. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to pull up the show notes because um, we make these show notes each week or each not each week. We, uh, we try. We could. So, yes. So, welcome. So, this is Stitching Miles Together. Um, if you are watching us live, thank you. Um, and if you're watching the replay, also thank you. Um, we do upload these videos to YouTube where we have a Stitching the Miles Together channel. Um, we do encourage you to subscribe and turn on notifications so you find out when we actually upload stuff because I'm not super consistent about that. <laughs> I'm better. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, so I'm Heather from Heather Spins a Yarn, and you can find me pretty much everywhere as Heather Spins a Yarn, except for on Twitter, but I don't really think that matters anymore. <laughs> no, but you know what? We could be verified in a minute with eight dollars with seven ninety nine. Oh, is it seven ninety nine now? I thought it was eight bucks. I, I think so. I thought I saw somebody say something about um being seven seven ninety nine. But, but no. I think now he's actually got some fact checkers on it, and I'm like, hmm. Oh, we yeah, brought back the fact checkers. These are important now. I don't know. Well, because right. people were spoofing him, and I refused to say his name. I know, but tell us who you are. Why don't you? Open? Oh, sorry. I'm Know It All Nikki. You can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet. Is Know It All Nikki. However, if you're looking for any of my writing clips and you're looking for an excellent writer, you would find me other under just Nicole Smith. And NLS, cre- uh, NLS creative. And somebody said, I Googled you and I couldn't find you. And I'm like, well, that's because Anna Nicole Smith comes up first. Yeah. I said, you actually have to Google my name with the minus sign, Anna. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, although, oh, you it's know, I don't know when the last time I Googled, I remember. When Nicole and I met, we had this conversation about like Anna Nicole Smith and all these things and stuff like that. But then, you know, she started messaging me and, you know, the rest is history. So, so yeah. So, um, we do this podcast. We try to do it every other week, but my asthma was like, "Mm, the hell you are. So we decided not to do it every other week for the past few weeks because, um, well, even, been down. I have been down. My my chronic illnesses have been like, you know, just partying it up. Like it was just like, I really think at the end of the day, it's just my lupus with all of these things. I really think that my lupus is just like, hey, it's like trying to make friends with all my other chronic illnesses that are going on. So we'll see. I have an appointment with a new provider next Wednesday. So a week from tomorrow. Um, and they were amazing. I, I, I sent a request through the portal because I was so tired of calling doctors and having them tell me like, mm, you know, what to go over the stuff. And then, you know, like, I just need my maintenance medications and to right. make sure that I'm not like, you know, we're all dying, but like to make sure that I'm not, you know, dying any faster than you expected. R- right. Right. So, so they messaged me like right away. Like I was done like, within five minutes, they were calling me what trying to set up an appointment and well, then I was, nice. asking her, I was asking her all these questions i was asking the lady on the phone because i'm like oh this is tethered like, oh i'm so glad you called back i didn't want to leave a voicemail because you didn't you know i wasn't sure if i could leave voicemails for you and and it was like really nice like she was super friendly and i was telling her this stuff and she was like what and i'm like i i know i know and i'm like do i need to bring anything and she's like yeah yourself mm-hmm. Your driver's, oh, I'll probably need a copy of your driver's license. I'm like, well, I'll have that with me too. But, and, and this is, and this is Cleveland Clinic, right? No, this is not Cleveland Clinic. Cleveland Clinic. Oh. So, what happened was I had an appointment that was on, I realized was on Veterans Day. And well, um, I scheduled it in July, is when they were scheduling. Right. 
So when I looked online to see what I needed, like what I was doing and all the appointments and stuff, so I could kind of plan my, 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 my bag of things. Cause you know, like some people that don't know, cause like Nicole and I both have chronic illnesses. And so some people don't know, but when you go to doctors, sometimes you are like, you are there for the long haul and you don't want to run out of things to do because that makes waiting unbearable. Did I tell you I lost my Kindle? Speaking of things (gasps) running out, running out of things to do. You lost your Kindle? Remember, I, I lost my Kindle for a long time, but I kept picking it up in this pile of things and then putting it back down again. I, I tried that. I, I did try that. And, and so far, no luck. No, no. Yeah. I swear that I left it in uh, Cody's car, but he okay. says, I can promise you it is not in my car. Cody is my oldest, for those of you who don't know, and who affectionately goes by CJ to family and friends. Yeah, because and I'm going to tell you, he was CJ, and then she started talking about Cody one time. And I had no idea what this kid's name was, and you would have thought one day that I'd have put two and two together. And you're talking about Cody this and Cody that, and I'm like, is Cody like a friend that's, that, that somebody adopted? And you're like, no, it's CJ. And I was, or no, it's my son. I'm like, what son? Did you have more children in Alaska? And you're like, because I had always known him as CJ. I do right. know, like, it, it's still weird for me to call him Cody. And I don't actually think I call him Cody, but, um, no. you know. but it was no. just funny because I still have to think about it. Like, it's always like that CJ, like anytime she says Cody, it's like, oh, that's CJ. Well, you know, he's a, he's a grown ass man now. So, well, you know, I, there's a grown ass man here that runs ferry boats and we all call him Billy. So, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. So, um, let's see here. Um, so what are you working on? Is this the the mystery? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've only started it over a thousand times. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not confident about its progress. How's that? I want to see the colors. Can you, cause they, I, where are your, like, you've got, can you speak like the sparkling? Uh, kind of go back and forth with it it's fuzzy yes it is fuzzy it looks kind of designed to be fuzzy let's see hold on because i want to tell you that the light that you're in right now okay i saw the sparkles it's like perfect it's because i know what nicole looks like you know her coloring and stuff and this is like she's got a new desk going on in there don't you you are just i did i i spoofed up the office oh i spiffed up the office okay, I, isn't spoofing bad. <laughs> I every time i get every time i come to into the office i feel like i'm being spoofed um no i spiffed up the office um by uh, using part of the alaska pfd to get a new desk Not that I didn't like my other desk. I really love it. And if it was in a different setting, it would be hella useful. But I need more space. Ask Heather. I like to spread out. You do. She has pictures. Oh, yeah. On my table. Like, I have, like, Um, a, like, my table's, like, what, eight feet long? Maybe? Seven, eight feet long? Yeah. And I, yeah, I think went, I took up I more feet. I went upstairs to go get dressed. She had spent the night at my house. And I came down and I was like, oh, like, I guess I'll be over here in this little corner here. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, she was like, whew. I had a whole side. Yep. And let me tell you, your bag was like Mary Poppins' bag. Like, I don't even know how you got all that stuff out of there. It's a magic you, bag. You just brought in a duffel bag. <laughs> it's magic. It is super magic. Yeah. Um. I don't know. There was a cartoon show or like a a TV show once upon a time where you could just, this woman would just open this bag and like all sorts of like giant things came out of it. Like she's pulling hats out, you know, a ladder, um, all kinds of stuff. And I envision my bag a lot like that. And if somebody can tell me the name of the show, I, I would really love it. You have to let us know, I almost if you know the name of that show. That, I have no idea what it is. I almost hesitate to say that it was on General Hospital. We really need to do one of those. I try <laughs> to watch General Hospital one time, and I've been sending her all these audio messages because that's what happens when your best friend lives like four hours in the past and you know, or four hours in the future. You know, you, you get all these. It's like we're like time travelers. I told her that, like, did I tell you the other day that Messenger is like our mailbox from like, you know... Yes, I was like, oh, that movie. <laughs> so, it's our mailbox by the beach with our cottage by the beach. 
And I'm like, oh my God, yes, it is. Um, but that's only when Zuckerberg plays nice. So yes, yeah. Sometimes he doesn't alert us to things, which is sad. Mm-hmm. But or he takes forever to notify us. It's just rude. It does. It's really it is really um, kind of rude to be quite honest. So I am. I'm working on the somewhat mystery. I have another one that I can show you that's also kind of sort of a mystery. It's a gift, but I don't, I I see me finishing this probably not in time for Christmas, but I definitely see me finishing it in the next couple months. Um, You know, President's Day is really an under gift giving holiday. You really should, we should start, you know, let's, but we're going to talk about gifts. I mean, we can jump in there now if you want to. We can kind of go all out of order. Which I don't mind at all. You don't care. Well, I, here. I really okay, so care. this is the other thing that I'm working on. You started that, I think, last time we were, we were either I video think- chatting or on a podcast. I remember you working on that. Yeah. Like, seeing you work on it. Okay. Did you, okay. Do you like my screw up right here? I do see it. I wasn't going to call you out on it because it did jump right out at me. It's kind of glimmering. Yeah. Yeah. Where I accidentally was like, oh, let's knit two together. And I was like, no, wait, it's only supposed to be. And then I had to go back. Yeah. I had to fix it. I was like, this is the only way that I can logically fix this without undoing literally everything okay so and i i'm using i'm using this um this oh is that the one that you got when you were shopping in soldatna no i picked i picked this up in homer this was also part of a pfd spend um it is we're gonna be talking about the what yeah i think it's called the mandala 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 it's a uh, lion brand mandala and it is tra- called tranquil okay i would hold it back up again huh. i don't know to me like tranquil would be like more blues and greens and stuff like sometimes you wonder like what it is that they are like because you know that yellow color that's in that, that you're knitting right now on that thing. And that, yeah, we had a, a my, um, cause I don't look at the, sometimes I look at the names. I'm not gonna lie when I'm looking, picking up paint colors for things, but I, we had a yellow that I really liked cause I matched it to something when we uh, lived, um, uh, this is probably like, oh gosh, probably like 20 years ago at this point. Gosh. I'm right. Living places for 20 years. Um, but like 20 years ago and it was, yellow that yellow color that's in there and when i went to go get it it was like oh this is called newborn right like maybe newborn day or something or like i don't know like new day but not newborn like that was just weird like that's an ill newborn if it's that color (laughs) yeah that needs to be under some lights right like yeah um yeah, no, sometimes I don't understand where, I, although I think indie yarn dyers do a much better job of coming up with, you know, the names for their colorways. Oh, yes. They're fun. Like this one is Feral Pigeon. <laughs> you and your Feral Pigeon. I feral agree. Pigeon. So this, this yarn <laughs> has been, do you ever have yarn that like you... You knit it and then you're not happy with how it's looking. So you take it out. And so you try over and over and over until it finally tells you what you it needs to be. Right. My, my husband thinks it's funny. And yeah. I told him, like, look, man, it's saving you a lot of money. It really is. If I'm re knitting totally with the same true. yarn over and over and over or crocheting with the same yarn over and over. Um, I think that uh this dog. Because for me. I, with my, with my neurodivergence and right. autism, like I love numbers and I love to count. And so knitting and crocheting give me, like, I don't just randomly count things anymore. Like I used to be able to tell you exactly how many pinholes were in the ceiling, like it work. And like, I could tell you all the things like before I started knitting and crocheting 20 years ago or 30 years ago at this point, like I would right. count everything. 
cracks in the sidewalk, like the streaks and like I would count everything. And I don't do that anymore because I get that fulfillment out of, you know, right. getting in crocheting. Oh, oh, I see the door behind you. Well, the curtain. <laughs> yeah. It's not a door. Not I a was door. not blessed with a door, with an office door. So, okay. So what you this, can get. So this is what I'm working on. I was hoping to have these done and actually on my feet today. But this what, is. You were going to show us your feet? What? You were going to show us your feet? I was like, I could just do this. I have narwhals on my socks today. Can you find the narwhal? Okay. Okay, <laughs> back to the other ones. <laughs> I did not knit those. Those are from Target. <laughs> but um, I have alpacas on mine. <laughs> <laughs> you have alpacas. There you go. I thought these were florals, and I'm like looking at the one. You do have alpacas on yours. Nice. Are they fuzzy? They're no. They're. I mean, they're comfortable. They're definitely no. No. I mean, like, are the alpacas fuzzy? Like, I got my sister a pair of like um Boston yeah. Terrier socks because she loves Boston Terriers. And I got her a pair of them. And it was funny because the they used a different like yarn in the, on the, on the so it was like, not like poofy, but slightly fuzzy. So you could like pet the, pet the Boston Terrier. Right. But anyways, so this is, um, this is from, we're just going to go out of order. This is from the Knit Two Socks in One book. Okay. Here. Well, we're not technically going out of order because that is a work in progress. Yes, but, oh, the secret project. I can't really tell you about my secret project. I'm not done with it. I hope to be done by Friday. That's what I can tell you. Okay. She was asking about it the other day, so. But Do we have anybody watching? I'm not even. I don't think so right now, but I'm okay with that. I'm not even where I'm supposed to be. Uh oh. Well, there we go. Hold I on. can't see it because I've covered that part of me up on the screen, so. <laughs> I suppose I can look. Let's see here. I can tell you if anybody's watching. I mean, we'll be watching. I can. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that because if I if I open up Facebook and I turn I open that up, the video is going to go. Uh, the video is going to go poof, or not poof, but it's no, gonna, no, like, well, he'll back I, I have it, and I, I see nobody currently. So it's, okay. it's, fine. it's all right. It's all good. So this is knit two socks in one by um, Sophia Tally. Yeah, um, and she is drunk knitter on Instagram, which is how I like met her. Right, and you know, I honestly, I don't ever think to check my library for knitting books. Never, I'm a really horrible library patron. I am going to teach at our library. So our library does like crafts and activities, and I sign up for those classes that are free. And I'm teaching a crochet class in January, so. Right. I, so if you're on the island and you want to learn how to crochet, you will have a nice project the first day and the second day will, the second time day will work on some other stuff. So sign up. So this is sock number one. Okay. I'm going to have to take this and undo the Kitchener stitch because okay. um, it's a little bit too big in the heel. Oh, okay. It's just a little bit too poofy. So I need to just undo the Kitchener stitch and like take it back a few rows. But what I'm going to do is I want to finish this one so I can find out exactly how far I have to take the other one back. Right. It's really just going to be undoing the Kitchener stitch that I have and then going back. Now this, she doesn't, I don't want to give a lot of stuff away. I was really excited because she actually, she posted about how it was at the library and she saw her own book at her library when she was there with her son. And so I was like, Oh, the library. So I looked and I ordered it and I got it and actually, it's actually due back today. Um, nice. But, um, so, um, I decided to see if I liked it in audio or not audio book and like Kindle, like electronic ebook version, or if I liked it better in a hard copy. And I think for books like hard this, copy. hard copy, um, for pa like knitting patterns, like single patterns, my Kindle. I love my Kindle for that. But right. for books where you're, cause there's all sorts of like lots of beautiful pictures in here. So you really can see what's going on. Um, I have this on my wish list. My daughter has me for Christmas this year. So I, um, so I'm going to, um, I told her if she doesn't get this book for me, I'm just going to buy it for myself. So, um, um, but yeah, so there's lots of really nice, like this, like really nice patterns, like nice, you know, great and, you can color. Do, and what I like is that you can do all of those with the whole knit one sock and get two out of it. I like it. Um, there's a couple things that I, I had to modify and especially with this one. 
Um, because most Heather, when do you not when do you not modify? I'm just I, I'm just asking. I I you know when I test knit, I well sometimes I modify when I test knit too. So um uh, never there's not, there's, never rarely I rarely don't because I know how I like things to fit me and so right. like with this I actually well I did because like she calls for um like when you when you're done you just go through like and cinch it off like you do a top of the hat she doesn't actually call for you to do kitchener stitch I oh. love kitchener stitching I think it gives it a nice finished like product and so like I modified this to the toe that I like so I this is a rounded toe from Mina's sock recipe so it's not as sharp and pronounced I don't like that now the heel I followed her directions and it's just too it's too big so I just need to probably take it back like maybe an inch but I like I said I want to do the heel on this one so this the heel I did nothing and it fits great like I said except for here now most socks because I wear a size 11, apparently they think that I must have like a really big foot all around. And I don't like, I still have like my, my, my foot circumference is very small. So I cast on the stitches in which it said to for my size, but I don't actually need that big. So a lot of socks end up being too big on me. If I, if you um, go that route. Yeah. Right. So I think that this is just a, a good like reminder for people like, um, good patterns I think will have schematics and give you finished measurements of things so that that way you can see and if you know your measurements aren't like that you can modify down so I yeah, like, and I like that I like that she has measurements in her pat in this in this book yes. because I've seen a lot of sock patterns that just tell you how many stitches to cast on yeah I love that like she's yeah all the way up, like how big your baby feet are, you know, and there's like little tiny booties in here. Like, but I mean, like all the way from like, in, like newborn all the way up to like, you know, a giant right. size man. But yeah. And, and I like that. I, so I think, um, yeah, I have so many other things going on that I was like, man, if I try to cast on socks right now, um, but I did get a chance to preview the book uh, before it was published. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, I got, I, unfortunately it was, it was a digital, um, copy. So the issues with that again, um, but I liked it. I, I was like, okay, so this is so much better because I mean, I, I have a smaller shoe size than you, yes. but I have, and my foot is not wide, but my ankles I, I basically don't have ankles because right. of the water retention, because of, you know, chronic illness. Yay. Um, I wear sleeves. So it, is, it is hard <laughs> for me. I can't, I can't knit anything more than like a booty or like a no show because everything else is, is just a pain in the butt. Oh, these are knee high. No, no, they're not. And and I love that you can knit this too. Cause I'm going to tell you it was nice. Cause it was super mindless knitting. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a lot of, you know, my updates with what we were, what was going on. And the, um, I, I cut my knitting in half and I didn't freak out about it. Oof, that was, I'm not gonna say that wasn't scary. Um, my only, I, I, you just put me into AFib. Thanks. Well, you have to, you have to cut them apart. Um, the one no. thing that I, the, the thing I like this, I need to read, I need to undo this and read because you pick up stitches because you yeah. make the two, you start off with, this was sock number one, actually. And then yeah. you have, and then you don't have the toe and then you have right. sock number two. So this one had the toe and then I had to, you know, and then I had to pick up the stitches for the ribbing for the right. top but my ribbing doesn't look the same as it does because i need to i don't i need to read i need to figure out how mm. i'm casting off because that was a stretchy cast off and i don't really like it so i need to i had to figure out that so that's going to get unpicked but okay. for dk weight socks because i mean it was it was probably like a week maybe it took me and that wasn't the only thing i was working on but it was a week right. of just working on that and then once you get done, you literally have the heels, one toe, 
and you know the ribbing for the top i mean like little like that you can do chunks so this is like excellent for walking and knitting or like you know if you're tv watching and knitting because, or something yeah, because like that. everybody can walk and knit like a <laughs> look <laughs> I'm actually going to do, I've, I've gotten, I've gotten, I've got, I've gotten inquiries about this. People have asked, like, how do you walk in that I don't understand? Or how do you read in it? It was just a goal that I set for myself. The walking and knitting, I couldn't do until about two years ago. No, because longer. I watched it because it was longer because when you and I went to the Cleveland Wine Festival, was I walking in? Yeah, but not like I am now. Like, I don't have to look. I can just walk and knit. Like, I don't, like, I wasn't as confident. I would have my knitting with me and maybe, like, sneak down and look. But now I just walk and I take my knitting for a walk. Now, you need a very vanilla project that you are very comfortable with if you're going to walk and knit. Because, so a hat or a sock. Like, you can't take anything real big. So I normally start, like, I do hats or socks. Like, you know. You, or you, had, you had this little, you, you well, it was tucked into your, you know big normal bag but and you were walking but I, I, to be fair you were we were also standing um and waiting for um rta so we were yeah so now because it's, it's been since I've, I've i've worked since i've worked here at the station i don't remember when it was but when you're in the station sometimes it's slow especially this time of year in in the winter so you can learn how to do things or create reels. Yes. <laughs> Build up that reel. Because now that I have my flip stick, it's fun because I would take video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to create a series because people have asked me about walking and knitting. Well, how do you do it? And you just, <clears throat> you just do it. I need to take my head by nail because I'm talking a lot. <laughs> but I think, but look, moral of the story here is folks, uh, it took her over seven years to learn how to do this seamlessly because I've been here for seven years. Yeah. And if you were just teaching yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not, it's not going to happen overnight. You have to be patient with yourself. Yes. That's the and, key. And, yeah. And when it comes to reading and knitting, I just, I just get an audio book, just an audio book. I, it still counts. I know it still counts. I, I totally believe that it counts. I just have, I just have a hard time with, a lot of times when I'm knitting at home, I'm knitting, like I'm watching my podcasts that I like, that I catch up right. on or right. I don't, or, you know, it's when my husband's playing like his games or something like that, because I don't really watch a lot of TV. He, our, our, our entertainment is him playing, you know, his games and stuff right. on the TV. So you know, that's not entertaining to me. That's why Brian has a TV in the basement. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I can now I can. Okay. Because I used to sit and do these things while the kids played. Right. But really, I was mainly there as a referee. Um, Brian doesn't need a referee, so I don't, I don't, um, well, unless they do play a game like Mario Kart or Mario Party with him, then yes, I do have to, I do have to referee again, but it's been years, years since that happened. So him playing and me trying to sit and knit, I can, I can do it for a little while, but not for very long. Now I can, same thing with reading. If he's playing a game, I I can't sit and read and listen unless I would have like this, the noise blocked out. Yeah. Um, so you're going to hear the, the door unlock. Well, that got the dog's attention. It did it. Oh, did it get the dog's attention? Hi dear. I'm podcasting. Yeah. So. Don't worry, I'm safe, dogs. No. You have to give me the bone. Can I have it? So she's gonna be, she's so gonna be mad I, at me in about a half hour. And what's really nice too is she gives you uh like you don't have to knit yarn, like she's got yarn like all the way up until like you know, like you can whatever, you know, like all the different size yarns you can like yes. you know make socks out of. She gives you the That's measurements, she gives you some stuff, and then you know you're 
you're good to go. I, you can make anklets, you can make long tube, like there's all sorts of different variations. She explains why. I I need to like contact her though because I have an idea for a pattern now because I really like this knit two socks in one method. You're not gonna like you know you'll at least have a tube, right? And you have a tube. I think I think that if you, I just I need to like now because. Like, is this a reference book or are these like, you know, can you like, what, what are you laughing at? You've been watching me throw this bone for this dog, this rubber bone. Yes. All right. Let me see if I can make it happen here. Nope. It's the other one. Well, we got to go to the other. Oh, shit. It's in the curtain. Oh, it's in the curtain. I see it now. I was like, what am I looking it's in, at? It's in the curtain. <laughs> It's, it's in the curtain. And she was just like looking for it. It was hilarious. Okay, sorry. No, you're sorry. fine. You're fine. So I think yeah. it would be, I have ideas for like oh, different okay. like color work socks that I've been. And I think this would be fun to do, but then I don't know that I can actually, I don't know. I, that, that's a bridge that I'll cross when I come to it, but you know. Not there yet. <laughs> Not there yet. But I yeah. highly recommend the book and or any book Look and see if your library has it. If you see a book online, which, oh, by the way, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, it's out. Knit Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Do you know how bad I need that book? I need to get I'm going to be going. I will be going to the library today. You have to see. I need to see if I can I'll get it at my library. So I, because I really, I, just see if your library has the book. Check it out. And that way you can, you know, you're helping your local library. Yep. And you're able to see, you know, a book, whether or not you want to make that investment, because books are expensive and not every yeah. book should belong in your library. I mean, right. I mean, and I think, I think that book is a great Christmas wish item. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Put that on your list. And if nobody gets it for you, go get it for yourself. Exactly. As I told my husband, I said, if my daughter, if our daughter does not get this for me, because we do, in our family, we do, um, we do name draws for all the adults. Like I guess mm -hmm. in our immediate family, the girls really wanted to do this one year. And I was like, that's fine. So we do a name draw and my younger daughter, Ariel has me. And so she's asking me for ideas. And so what's really been fun is on Instagram. I've just been like tagging her, like with when dyers and different people, like, you know, like, Oh, I need this. Oh, I need that. And something that I think should go on your wish list, maybe not yours. Cause you already have one. You just aren't using it yet. I don't think. Um, is the flip stick. I have been enjoying my flip stick. Um, you know, I think my next phone, so let me, I, I, since Heather's is on hers and mine is not, um, and, and this is not a plug for flip stick. We bought these. Oh yes. Yes. They Instagram were... sucked us in <laughs> with their ads. It's starting to happen more and more lately. And I'm really upset about it. <laughs> um, so this is basically it. It folds out. All right, help me out, Heather. This is the side that sticks to the phone? Yes. No, yes, that sticks to the phone. And then the blue stuff, that's what you, you flip it open and you push it onto something. So it is actually, I'm using my flip stick right now because my laptop is really old and my camera is kind of crappy. So yeah, leave that on until you're ready to. And then you just clean it with alcohol pads. Right. But my phone is very, um, my phone is like stuck right now, like on my computer, to the screen of my computer so that I can, and it's nice to twist it and it comes off. Um, I created a, um, I've created a reel the other day at work cause it was really slow. And, um, because I, I've been creating more real content. I really think it's fun. I'm getting into it. I didn't really, really like it at first, but when I was sick with my flare up, I found a lot of audio. And so I found this one audio that was about at the gas station. It was like, you know, to the 12 followers that always like my posts. Y'all want anything from the gas station? It's awesome. So um, at the end of the video, if you replay the video and you watch it, because I have it stuck. My phone is stuck to like a shelf that's like this big. Well, I didn't have it stuck on real well. So at the end of that video, my phone was actually falling. So I had to reach forward to catch it. Oh, my gosh. I, I, that's the only um, time it's ever not just like stuck to something. I have it like the the picture, my new profile picture on Instagram and Facebook. 
that was the yeah. stick stuck to um, a, a light fixture in the beer cave, beer cave area. Um, when I recorded my live for Facebook today on my personal page, I had a plastic bin that I just set in the chair next to me and popped it right on there. I mean, it yeah. really is awesome. I highly recommend, um, they are not, you know, paying us to say that. I mean, I did yeah. get an email asking me if I wanted to get Flipstick Pro, um, which is like, I don't know, they're, they're doing some sort of Kickstarter and I could reserve mine for a dollar. And then when they came out, it was 1995. I'm like, mm, I'm good. I've got it. These were what? 12? I don't remember. Yeah. Like 12 eight. or something. Yeah. I think. Um, I mean, it's, it's no more than what you would pay at like Walmart or Target really for something that holds your phone up so you can do things. I like it though, because I can stick it like up, like, so when I'm doing video, so I can, you know, when I'm making my pair of things, your... yeah, stick it up there. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm very pleased. It doesn't seem to damage anything. So yeah. Well, um, what Brian like, and I probably, What's we'll probably have to have a talk um, about <laughs> a f my phone uh, because I told you I shattered the backside. Yeah. Yeah. So it, in the case, it, it's still in the case. And as long as I leave it in the case, nobody knows. But at some point, it's probably going to like spread and it's going to affect my volume buttons and all kinds of stuff. So... I can't use the flip stick right now and I couldn't use it with this case anyway. Right. Yeah. I, so when I, I get a new phone, I didn't stick mine on for a while and then my pop socket came off my phone. And so I just stuck it on. I had to Google I mean, to make sure that my case was not silicone that I have, but it's not, it's just hard plastic or soft plastic. Properly. Yeah, no, this isn't. I, I, if, I, I've seen your case. Your case is not flat. It's not flat enough for it. So, no. Well, I mean, it's it's. I would be able to stick it there if um, it's just the way uh, I had things positioned, and also where the camera and everything else shows up. Hey. Okay, you're done with the bone. It's his turn. So... Get over. It. Let's see here. Um, also, since we're talking about things that we're not affiliated with and we're just kind of sharing out information, um, Lion Brand is having an amazing sale today um, on stuff. Like you can get like, I mean, I don't need any more yarn, so I'm no. not purchasing. I'm not giving into the sale, but um, there were like some really, they're bringing back their, um, their sock yarn for a limited time, which I kind of want to get some of that, but uh, it's a, it's like nine dollars a, a for a hundred gram ball, which is nice. But like they have this um, limited edition that they do every year, and it's a really nice acrylic. I've I've gotten it before, um, and but it's if you buy six balls of it or six skeins of it, you just have to give them a color family, and they'll give you like they'll pick it out for you. It's and and they're they're doing six six skeins for twelve dollars. That's a that's a really good deal, right? Um, so mystery colors, but in the color family yes. that you you tell them. Yes, that that is a very good deal. So um, like, they they suggest like if you got six skeins, you know you could do like worsted weight, like or you could do like ombre fade. Yeah, you know which would work well for you know. Uh, they're also on their website. There's a um, what is it? Uh, um, they're, they're, they're for, is it blankets for women's shelters? Is that what you sent me? Yeah, it's, um, it's basically, let me, let me go back to Instagram because a friend shared it with me and I was like, oh, awesome. And then she kind of came back and told me that unfortunately the only thing, the only problem she had with it was that they were limiting you, um, to only, being able to use uh, certain colors. Oh, really? I I didn't look in it. I just you had sent me the thing, the link, and so I hadn't looked. I just kind of was like, oh, we can add that in. Um, so it's Warm Up America. Uh, it's with the Hallmark Channel and Warm Up America. 
creating a be beautiful cozy blankets to be no donated to women's domestic violence shelters. Um, joiners will connect sections into blankets to be donated to various women's domestic violence shelters in Georgia, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Texas. And so you, have, you don't to actually knit. have to knit a blanket, then you're just knitting a block? No. You're just knitting a seven, knitting or crocheting okay. a seven by nine uh, special heart and crown sections along with solid seven by nine sections and mail them to warm up America. Okay. So, and they, and it's on Instagram under the lion brand, under lion brands, um, account. Uh, but to find out more, you can go to hallmarkchannel.com slash stitched with love. Okay. Well, we'll put a link underneath here, you know, just so you, if you guys want to check it out, you can, um, I know this, the, the super sale that I was telling you about was like, um, that ends on the 17th. So that's two days from, so you're going to have to catch this pretty quickly and we are going to have to definitely end it for today because I just got a message that I have to go back to work. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this. I'm going to add it into the comments now. Okay. Cause I can, I can do that. I'm right here. Yeah. If anybody wants the, um, oh my God, the flip stick information, let us know and we can get that for you too. But none of these things, nobody's paying us to do this. Yeah. These are, these are all hashtag, not an ad. Right. So, so um, and, and if you ahead. like, and I want to tell you that like, you, and you don't have to do like, just like this, if you want to do some like charity knitting um, or crocheting, like, it's a person like I would look up like, you know, you probably have a homeless shelter somewhere around mm -hmm. you. You probably yep. have food banks somewhere around you. You probably have I mean, like there are all sorts of different things that you could do, like even like your kids go to school. You know, it, when I was a school secretary, you know, that was like mm -hmm. the number one thing. Like a lot of these kids would come in and they wouldn't have hats or gloves or anything like that. So you can always yep. make things and especially in adult sizing, like because like was the kids get bigger and stuff like that. Like when they're cute and tiny and little, everyone wants to get them those like the, you know, that stuff. But when they get older, a lot of these kids don't have jackets or hats or coats or, teenagers. or anything like that. So teenagers, middle schoolers. Right. Those so the just ones reach, that are out, reach out to different places in your community. If you, if that's something that you want to do, I know that like I, um, I used to knit and crochet hats and baby booties for, mm -hmm. um, a pregnancy crisis center in Cleveland. Like we had ladies that would go down there and stuff. And these were, you know, they were um, giving these moms like, you know, free prenatal care and everything else. And they were, you know, so they, you know, they would get to have like these hats and booties and blankets and stuff that I would, right. you know, knit and crochet for them. So, you know. If you aren't sure what you should do, you know, just and you, but you want to help, you know. I think um, look for it later this week or maybe even later today on my site. Um, I'll probably I'll try to come back and update. Sure. I'll update it here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a post with various places where you can uh, send like baby blankets, anything like that. There's another one. And I don't know if they're doing it again this year, but um, in Ohio, well, I guess it's all over, um, but you could pick the hospital and you could knit preemie hats. Um, yeah, I've done, I've, yeah. I've done that. And then they have, there's pieces. Yeah. Um, there's like a, there's a, a lady that I, I know on Instagram and on Facebook. I, her, her daughter and I are, are friends and really good friends. And I've, we've never met. You know, I, some people don't understand that. I know you do, um, but um, she does most of her knitting is chair or crocheting is charity crocheting. She does these infant loss blankets for people that have lost babies. There's an organization that they, you know, they give these little baby blankets to people that have lost um, their, their 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 infants. Um, they um, she does uh, hats for uh, there's a soldier project, so they they send these oh, hats yeah. overseas. So I mean, yeah. like. If, if your heart is in to philanthropy, but you're like, I just don't have the money. Well, you definitely can, you know, you and know. you can find, and you can find yarn so cheap. Um, and a lot of the big, big Army, Goodwill, 
thrift stores. Yes. So, um, okay. And, well, and I know Pakistan's used to do a thing where it was, um, Pakistan doesn't exist anymore. And it was a local Ohio craft store, but they used to do a thing that like you could, um, you could come and get like a scanning, like you would have to say you were going to, you know, commit to doing whatever it is, but they would give you a scanning yarn to make this stuff. Yep. yep. Sorry. I'm getting like all these texts because, you know, that's okay. I had dogs sitting here, two of them. So I think they need a trip um, out All to right. the yard. Well, th the only thing we have left here was uh, finished objects. And I do want to talk about mine real quickly. This is the big hair, much big hair, much care test knit that I did. I used minis from an advent calendar. So this is six mini skeins of yarn that made this hat. It's a really neat construction. I haven't actually finished it. I need to sew the buttons on. Here's my buttons. They were my grandma's buttons. Nice. Um, there were all sorts of ways that the ladies like clipped it up together and stuff like that. So the brim is knit flat and then you pick up stitches in the round. So it's open right here. So yeah. you pop. So like my bun, it's like, you know, my hair's all up in the bun and it's not being nice. bothered at all. Now you can... Also, the buttons all have it so you can actually just toss your hair up in there and then you can cinch it up like that. So, yep. But it's super cozy. It's super fun. This is definitely uh, one, a project that you would need to make it out of wool mm -hmm. to get that structure and memory right. and stuff like that. But I love it. It's super warm. It's super cozy. I'm enjoying it immensely nice oh. so um this is by disturbing the fleece fatima fatima hines um she was gonna publish the pattern today so i would look for that um yeah um uh, disturbing the fleece i would I'll, I'll put a link down below to her um ravel restore like after it's done okay. and i just i'm getting a copy of the pattern for free because i test knit it i love test knitting patterns so and i didn't modify i didn't modify this at all well, it's a lot. I made this part a little bit shorter because she wanted you to, well, she said to make it so the brim fit snugly around your head to keep all your hair right. off. That's so. not really a modification. That's though. not really a modification. It was just me following no. directions. So, no. all Thanks. right. Uh, we didn't really talk about gift knitting, but maybe we could talk about that in the comments or next we time have, because we still have lots of time left and time. not lots of time left. You know what I'm saying? Like lots of time we before gift giving time. Yeah. You know, like I said, President's Day, an underrated holiday to give gifts. Just saying. I mean, if you're really slow like me, you can always go with leap year. There you go. I will have that for you on the next February 29th. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But, all right. Um, all right. So uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, please like. Um, or well, you can like it or, you know, thumbs down, I don't know, whatever, you know, but please like subscribe it. to our channel. Yes. So if we get a hundred subscribers, we can go live straight on YouTube and we can just skip this Facebook malarkey. Not that we don't. Where to... Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so please, I'll, I please, uh, please subscribe and like if you are so inclined. Um, and, uh, yeah, just follow us wherever we are. Cause I put out a lot of crazy content. I haven't been putting out as much lately, but I'm, I'm going to try to get back into it. You're getting, you're, you were starting. Yeah. Hers is a lot of dogs and snow. And moose. And moose and knitting. You know, moose content does really well. It's what you were saying. Just in, in case anybody's curious, moose content does really well. Um, so yeah, so look for a post from me coming up with uh, some charity knitting. Um, and then also watch the site because later this week, I will also have a review of an audiobook that I listened to that I'm not sure what my expectations were with this book, but it surpassed them. So let's just say that. And this is one of those memoir, autobiography kind of things. Nice. Well, I look forward to it. I spit my ginger ale out of my mouth. I look forward to seeing it. 
<laughs> um, this week, um, I do full reviews of the patterns that I work on when I get around to writing them. Um, she has a problem with that. I do have a problem with that. Definitely. I'm trying to get better, but this, this, I was going to write every day on my blog for 30 days, but this, this month I've just been a compliant patient for the last, you know, 30 days. So I'm doing good. I think you have to, you have to choose Heather. What compliant patient or writing? Yeah. 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 Sometimes you yeah. can't do both. I can't. Do both. No, it's that you, you understood as in you and the general public. I can't do both. That just tells you where my nano, where my novel project is. <laughs> all right. So it's at the bottom of the hill. All right. So you're gonna let your dogs out. I get to go yeah. back to work again. Um, I love my day off. <laughs> Management is overrated, folks. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there right now. They all know this. They know I love my job, and I love. And I, it did say I could come mm -hmm. back and help, but right. They got to go move the boat. So they, you need two people to move the boat. So, all right. Well, thank you for joining us. Please. And we'll see you uh, next time. Next time. Yes. Uh, I think not for Thanksgiving, the Thursday after Thanksgiving. It was hopefully when we come back, we're going to get a game plan. We'll hopefully be able to tell you more than a day in advance. Uh, hopefully we'll have all kinds of fun stories to tell you and ask you how your Thanksgiving went. And I have a baby shower in between that too. And I went to another baby shower this last week. It's fun times. Good fun times for me. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. I have Bye. to go. No little Nikki everywhere. Thank you. And we'll, and I'll see you next time. Bye.